Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I'm a bit late and also not on the stream that we are used to uh, to watch our races on. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Brother Adam is still uh, under the, on our Twitch account as he did uh, his commentary for the first time alone in the second division last Friday. But we forgot to instruct him to look out. Unfortunately, Twitch is uh, it's a bit hard to use. The two steps, uh, authentication, uh, etc. And uh, <laughs> yeah, for now we need to do it this way. But I'm lucky that I still managed to see some uh, qualification session because I'm seeing an incredible time of Nicky Rizzles with a 106.6 half a second faster than Jacob Pacey. And there's no Tio Mio tonight. Tio Mio is absent in his final race for this season. So uh, we won't see him in action anymore in this third division as he will promote to the second one next season. In the new game, a new calendar, we'll see how it goes there. But uh, we already uh, witnessed some pace from him that uh, belongs to the second division, so no worries about it. So now I only have uh, two seconds on the clock. Let's see some tires. All drivers did it on the soft compound. It went a bit wide, I think, for Jacob, who's still on this in his out in his, uh, in his half lap for his final attempt there. He's going to be first. The Revis missed out on the qualification session, so my apologies for it. Done, I think. This is not his hot lap, I guess. So back to Jacob. Comes through the last corner over here. Can he improve? I think that 106.6 is a bit too far. But with one thousandth of a second below that 107, I think Jacob Pace can be satisfied with this time. For racing point here. Let's see what Archie can do. Brother Adam, yeah, he's uh, <laughs> not there tonight, as I said. So that's why it was so hard to uh, get him offline. But uh, unfortunately, he's not home, so he can't join his PlayStation for the moment. And that's why we are on my channel from Dylan on YouTube. Archie with at 107.2. Or will Johnny retired in the pits? And then Gravis or where is he later? He later already retired, so this must be Gravis. But not with an improvement, like I said before. Borgzort also going to make a pit stop. I think it's done, the qualification session is done. And that's Nicky Rizzles with his ninth pole position in total. And I thought that eight of them. Eight pole positions were uh, done in this season. So, first season he only scored one pole position late in the season, and in this season he brought us eight pole positions. So that's a lot. It's a pole killer. One last week, of course, in Hungary in the Hungaro Ring. What a beautiful race. So there it is, 106.672, pole position from Nicky Rizzles, Jacob Pasty on the second place, I think this is his, 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 his best result there. And yeah, still three tenths slower, but uh, definitely uh, a solid lap by him uh, under that 107, I think he should be happy with it. hope my battery will stay charged today. I'm not prepared as I uh, always uh, am prepared, so my apologies for it, but we have a stream and we are happy with it, I think. 18 drivers, why is Nova Apollo in the game? <laughs> Nova Apollo had that race bond last week, hit himself uh, into the walls.
but that means that in, in the race this EI will uh, drive around so I just have a quick word with him I just told Nova Paulo as he had a race bun. Don't know why he joined the session or uh, <laughs> did it on uh, by accident or on purpose. The invites are sent automatically. It's uh, one full lobby of drivers. And the invites were always sent to them, even if they are not there or are having a penalty or something. So I told him to retire his car in the first lap immediately. So he can't uh, interact with the drivers up front. We need to retire the car so we won't cause an EI on track. It would be very silly. But for now, this is the formation lap on the final race of this season. 16 races long in the calendar. And uh, somehow it always ends at Brazil. Last season it was the, the second last track. Brazil and the Lagos and this season it's the last track and we are always making our calendar by a generator and then uh, we have two examples, two lists where drivers can choose off. So it's something uh, I think it's a standard for us to finish at Interlagos. My mic just broke, but uh, the race is already on, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob Pasty with a blast for start. Mickey Rizzo's a bit less there, now followed by Poseidon on his left side. I think he can hold it. Pipe tech there. Don't know if he got any damage. Doesn't have any, I think, so he can carry on. Francois also lost it. So this will affect us always.
this time there has to be Lee Meister. Yeah, he got that damage. This, this left hand plate is totally missing there. So need to make uh, the first pit stop, I guess. Jacob Pasty in the meantime with the fastest lap, 120.2. He's leading the pack. Almost a second still needs to... Uh, yeah, he can't give in yet on Poseidon, 9 tenths of a second there, almost a second, but uh, he will be in DRS range. So let's see if he can drive away there without using too many ERS because he already used uh, a lot, I would say. Poseidon, same story, he's just following it. Nicky Rizzles is doing it a bit better, so if he's smart, and he is, then he will follow them. Later on, he definitely can overtake them. Yes, uh, this his efforts and pace will be faster with uh, with, a, well, yeah, with a lot of ERS on board. We can harvest even more as well. Nova Paulo joined it. As we uh, just spoke to him, and I hope he will bring his car to the to the pits. If he wants to save this, because it's definitely unfortunate. If you have EI in front of you, it really bothers. So back to the race, we will probably see Nova Polo uh, bringing his Red Bull to the pits, where it should be. But over here there's a fight going on because uh, both Poseidon and Nicky Rizzo is closing in on Jacob Pasty a bit. Snoopy Tom McGrath is on medium tires today and Lee Myers to just pit it for the hearts. There is no follow with, uh, with the pitch stop as he should have done it. So I'm I'm uh, happy that he did listen to us. So there it is. No more EI on track. That's uh, a good thing. Mike splitting those Renault cars and I think he wants more the DRS train see you later in front followed by uh, yeah, both Renaults and the McLaren in between so then it will be hard to overtake Already out of ERS. Really 
got the zero. That's some training he could use to, to be even faster because we know he got some pace, raw pace without uh, without systems. But we should know how to drive with them. Let's go to racer 24, who's taking it inside on Team Mike. You must admit it's a beautiful move. Still wheel to wheel now. Oh, this is some good racing by the gents. Racer 24 hours also made a lot of mistakes his first two races. As he was completely new to league racing also is racing for about five weeks Formula 1 right now. And he immediately saw that he had talent if he can race already like this because really it, it looks it looks easy but as the drivers in this third division it definitely grows the pace grows and it's not really easy to uh, to nail these laps like this so we immediately saw uh, race 24 hours had some talent there if you can race already like this after a bunch of weeks i can tell you i couldn't it took me months to uh, complete laps like this But in his first race, and um, was on uh, on Sandford. He really didn't know how to uh, complete a league race. Safety car conditions that you need to stay behind. We saw him uh, overtaking under under the safety car, and uh, he had a drive-through penalty for speeding under the safety car as well. He tried to. Uh, to redeem it under the safety car still and of course the game will not allow it you will only change your tire tires and you still have that penalty in your stomach so yeah <clears throat> it was a bad race for him and we advised him he improved made another mistake last week we advised him again and look at him now i think it's all right and that's what we like to see well back to the to the leaders in front Can this be a move from Nicky Rizzles? He is, he is close. Side and defense at inside, and it's enough, of course. That second straight isn't really long. later struggling really much of course this is a circuit with 36 laps but the tire wear isn't really spectacular the drivers are uh, could carry on still for uh, for a few laps before the pit window opens and then they have a soft medium strategy as possible maybe a few we'll try hard we'll see how it goes can see you later perform my action again in the first rate it's not it's not there yet but with a good exit into the Arsenal center corner and that second straight that's far away but this Mona know, knows how to defend For now, I have to give credits to Jacob for keeping them behind because Poseidon and Nicky Rizzo's uh, are good drivers on top of the leaderboard at the third division. So, some credits for Jacob. He won the lead for uh, a couple of races. His best result was that, that fifth place, 10 points. He didn't have any podium yet. Is he experienced enough? to score a win immediately. You never can shut it down of course, but for my opinion of course I would grant it to him, but there is a first three second time penalty. Also his ERS management isn't perfect. A bit better from Poseidon and Nicky of course, that's how it should be done because you yeah you got 36 laps. 36 laps to, to do the job. 
not a 5% or a 25% race. So that's something Jacob needs to, to work out. Of course, he doesn't got the DRS. So that's a bit harder if you want to uh, keep drives behind you. think that uh, Jacob is slowing the drivers a bit down behind him but look at this well Johnny overtook Nicky Rizzles so Nicky Rizzles must have had to make a mistake there because he was really close behind Poseidon there's a gap now for uh, about 1.1 seconds so the only driver who could do the job now is Poseidon actually oh he can do it on that inside job done before turn four I guess I thought it was turn four this one from my head but it's a, it was a beautiful move uh, visible by the by the helicopter angle the view from the from the sky love it and there it is Poseidon in the lead now no penalty scored yet Nicky Riz is not in the third place anymore so he needs to solve this his mistake And if he wants uh, that win, then he needs to overtake Real Johnny soon enough again because Poseidon he will drive away now. Also his teammate following, so both uh, Williams now. Yeah, a bit up front, best of the rest. Let's say it like that. Pit window open like I said after 12 laps. This is the lap where they can pit for mediums. We will see a few drivers doing it already and I think this will be race of 24 hours and see you later into the pits. Both. Oh no. Race of 24 hours that's just surprisingly he's going to grab another set of softs. This means he will do two stop today. Because uh, yeah, we all know 23 laps are not possible on those tires. See you later with uh, on the hard tires there. And maybe it's a good call. Medium also a bit early. Racer just in front of Pipe Tech. Pipe Tech on all softs. We had an incident in the beginning of the race, unfortunately. But he's still seeing some drivers in front of him, that's positive. That is not counting for Lee Meister or Francois. Well, back to this. Poseidon making his first pit stop. Think he will grab that hard set there. So Jacob Pasty back in the lead. Now followed by Nicky Rizzles again. Also Bugsort. So both Williams passed real Johnny. Also missed out on that. Let's see if Burgersort can defend real Johnny there. Yes, he can. Oh, wheel to wheel action. Good fight, good fight. I think Interlagos is one of Jacob fa Jacob's fa favorite tracks. got to love those corners not everybody does there's always some driver who doesn't like the circuit <laughs> everybody got their taste still no pit stop they will do that soft medium strategy I think so they will uh, co come into the position there, there where it's going to happen so you know Johnny mediums or hearts what do you think I think I see the medium tires this is the moment drivers can do it sneaky Tom will change it around I guess started on mediums
raining penalties already after 16 laps. There is Nicky Rizzles and Jacob Pasty in pits. This is the gap between them. I don't think they will serve any penalties uh, together there. So let's see who's having a good pit stop from Jacob. It's alright from Nicky as well, still in front of him. Nothing, uh, nothing changed there. But where will they rejoin track? Will Johnny, is he going to pass them? Is he going to do the undercut? Because he pitted one lap earlier, of course. There he is, Jacob. Oh, sorry, real Johnny. He's not passing them. I thought that he pitted one lap before. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see the difference in one lap. See you later uh, with some struggle, an oversteam moment. Whoa, ho, ho, Team Mike. Oh, he hit that curb. Cast the yellow flag as well. Fortunately, he can carry on. That's a good thing. No damage, but he lost that battle against. See you later there, definitely. And now Burger Sword ate this move. Sneaky Tom and Hachi also. In in for a pit stop there. Yeah, like I said, Will Johnny pitted before, uh, one lap earlier than Jacob and Nicky. Now you can see the difference. So, this lap he got a bit more temperature in those tires. Definitely works on the on the harder compound. They feel very cold and slippery in the beginning. Medium a bit less, soft, yeah, they uh, will feel lovely even when they are cold, yeah, that's not true, but as long as you know what I'm saying. Is it enough for real Johnny to overtake Jacob Pasty? Jacob Pasty is going wide there to block his slipstream, but also is a bit slower. Uh, towards the first turn at that point and Will Johnny overtook him, third place for him both got that penalty for warnings also Will Johnny touched the grass a little bit Jacob on the inside good lifting by Will Johnny that's how you keep each other alive and that's how racing is uh, meant to be some good racing between these gents overtake uh, on each other in one lap <laughs> oh Johnny again filthy air in front of him most of the time it makes you understeer filthy air but sometimes it feels like you're not going through a corner fast enough and then you want to step the throttle a little bit earlier than you normally are doing and yeah then you have some oversteer problems of course and now Burgersort both got the arrest there but Burgersort he did have some good slips in there so maybe on the second line Burgersort is managing to, to make a good exit because I'm not expecting that Will Johnny will have DRS there, and that's not true. Like I said, oh, Bugso breaking deep. This time, Will Johnny kept it there. Minor contact. Oh, Bugso! Oh, that is unfortunate. No damage for Bugso. I'm very, very, very happy for him because it was some some good racing, some contact between the gentlemen, but definitely not that the damage is deserved there so I'm very very happy for Boog so that he could carry on he, uh, he's going well he's going very well oh, he hit at the curb on the inside <laughs> and then he, he uh, just kissed the wall but I don't see any carbon flying in, in the air and I don't see any end plates, plates missing so 
bit stuff for, for Brookshot after only two laps on those medium tires. So let's see some penalties given. Ooh, real Johnny. 12 seconds, mate. Oh, that's a lot. That's a, uh, that's really a lot. Gravis with, uh, with a good overtake on fresher tires there. This is the difference between compounds. Tire, uh, tire rage, I wouldn't say. Because they are both on 5 lap old tires. But yeah, this is a uh, benefit for soft at this moment. But Gravis will not make it to the end. also is going to perform a two-stop today and we'll need to make one other pit stop well let's go to the gentleman in front because uh, Nick Riz has already uh, gives some hugs to Poseidon there and this is the battle for the lead today I mean, I think it will be, of course, they, uh, the drivers cannot make any mistakes if they want to stay in front of everybody else. drivers and also Theo. There's, uh, there's a difference with, uh, between those drivers and, and the others. We did see some, some lightning start from Jacob Pace. But I already could caught him on a, on, on a thing or two that he still needs to learn that he has. That warnings. And if we take Poseidon and Nicky and Theo for example, they already learned this in this division because they also ca came from the same way like Jacob and like everybody else in this division and of course the one isn't the, the another one can learn more easily than the other and if you have for some uh, people it just takes more time you know and that's that's not a bad thing that's why we have promotion relegation in our system and why the drivers will leave the session if they are done learning and I think it will, uh, it will be for these two drivers. Oh, ho, ho. that's unfortunate. Maybe you should give this position back. It was not uh, the cleanest overtake. Of them all, definitely not. And if I overtook somebody like that way, then yeah, the best thing to do is to give your position back and try it again. I'm not suspect, as expecting he will do that. It will cost them both some time. Yeah, Poseidon went deep into that in the first turn, and the right-hander again, Nicky Rizzos was uh, aiming for a good exit, a better one than Poseidon, of course, as he went really deep, and then he just clipped him from behind a bit, and overtook him like that, it's strange. <laughs> Gravis will make that final pit stop. It 
must be, uh, it can be soft again actually. The smartest it would be. Yeah, he got another set of softs indeed, so uh, he will go to the end. But needs to redeem a 5 second penalty for something. There it is. And he goes again. Maybe he can grab some points today if he can climb a few positions. Wow, it would be hard to do it. Race 24 hours with a gap from 22 seconds in front of him. Plus 4.5. And a half. Yeah, that's uh, 27 seconds, 28 seconds. For Gravis, he needs to make up if he wants to score one point and steal a position from Hachi. Hachi is still penalty free there. That would be a hard thing for Gravis, but uh, maybe uh, he can do some, some good laps here. Nick Riz is now with the fastest lap, 109.693 on mediums for Williams Racing at the moment. Yeah, he's driving away now from Poseidon. So he was faster than Poseidon at, at that point. But the overtake again wasn't uh, the, the most prettiest, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> he also can drive away, of course. It isn't on purpose. is still maybe still looking at a podium here it's penalty free and chasing down real Johnny now Sword, even after his uh, his kiss against the wall, he's still up for a good position there. Now we are seeing a virtual safety car entered the race. Something must have happened. I thought it was in the second sector. Don't know. Yeah, it is. It's oh, it's Luki. Who's there? Who's there at first? It must be Jacob. Jacob. No, it's Nicky Tom. We will see him right now, uh, somewhere in the wall. He's already dismissed, but he lost it in this corner. It's the second last corner. Or maybe it isn't. <laughs> Don't have any corner names or uh, example from this, uh, this layout in front of me now. It was in the third sector actually. This oh <laughs> Jacob back on track on the eighth place. He did go for uh, for soft tires again. Don't know if it's a really handy thing. He was praying for a safety car maybe then yeah then then it was a good stop. Now it was a half pit stop. Back on P8 but yeah. Like I said, he was on the, on the third place there. Needs to make up a lot of positions. Uh, still a narrow layout circuit. There are more overtaking possibilities than a week before on Hungaro Ring or on Zandvoort, for example. But... He got one. And now we will chase down his teammate Sneak Tom, the last champion of this third division. Champion from last year. Of 
course, we all know Sneaky Tom had the, the, the ideal season as he was promoted to the second division. But some drivers are on that top or don't have the material that they need to increase their pace or become a fast driver. Sneaky Tom is definitely a third division driver and he should stay it because not, not every driver uh, is evolving. Of course he evolved before and he knows how it is and to, to be very consistent. He won a lot of races in this division and he knows how it is to, uh, to do in important races as well. Now he uh, just break check the breaking board that signs from there. And he will be overtaken by, by Jacob Pasty around the outside. Fresh, fresh softs, but needs to make up three more places in the final eight, uh, final eight laps. I'm sorry, and now he holds. They yeah, got 11 seconds in front of him to to close it with Will Johnny. Can he do it? Let us see. wants to follow it and he's he's doing it it's not uh, that Jacob basically is driving away uh, very soon or something he was almost in second but uh, Tom with DRS loves it that would be too much I think it's not the most smart pit stop from Jacob I think he was praying praying for that safety car heading into the race after Mickey Luke uh, dismissed of course we know that Will Johnny has got plenty of penalties 12 seconds there Jacob 6 so he needs only needs to make up five a little bit more than five seconds to gain that place but then he is on fifth place yeah it is my book so probably passed him still I think Jacob Pasty could finish earlier than he uh, is going to do now Tismo driving a beautiful race. Nine places won by him. It's, uh, going for a driver of the day as well and also for another podium. Real German to play Sneaky Tom then six places of course also doing a good job. Francois lost seven places. He didn't have a great start. Maybe it's his connection issue. Sometimes I'm still wondering how it goes for drivers. He's off from all the way from Argentina so it's a long way. Oh, back to tires. <laughs> because Burgesort. He's also not done yet. And maybe he can bring another Williams on podium today. Would it be possible? Robert Dodo with a speeding pit lane penalty. Do have to say Red Bull without points this season. It's hard to see. But Robert Dodo uh, switched to the Trustmaster. Instead of racing on his, on his controller. And he's driving some solid laps were bad by now, so that's just one positive thing. But he still can win some pace. So the sitting down for it, he needs to be careful. I thought I seen him uh, getting a warning. But he will overtake a Tismo. After the Arton Senna corner, a Tismo break deep, but he needs to give in to Burgesort now. It's a beautiful job done by uh, by him. And Williams now on one one three. That would be some yeah some Williams boost definitely. I want to see some constructor standings by now because uh, for Ferrari. Ooh, that's not 
a good thing maybe. Looky look, he didn't finish. Team Mio were not present today. So now I want to see the difference because this is going to be a good day for Williams. Oh, I think it's too much. I think it's too much. He holds the, the fastest lap. Fastest lap by Jacob Pasty. So this is, uh, let me see, 25, 15, 40 points for Williams. Added on 281 points, this makes 300. For, uh, sorry, 321 points. And Ferrari is on 337 points. So congratulations, Ferrari! It was already done. Construct the championship won by Ferrari, but this will yeah, it's already done uh, for second place as well by Williams. If they could do this one time more this season, then it would be very spectacular for the constructor championship. Another yellow flag in the second sector. This is a Red Bull. It's Rubber Dodo. He has a hard time again. Lost his trumping. Managed uh, to go all the way to the end. Almost. But not quite there yet. It's nearly there. Hutchi with another. With his first penalty actually. Three seconds. For multiple warnings as well. Now only Pipe Tech. Eight Dismal Boogers or Poseidon and Nick is up. Our penalty fee here today. <laughs> and Abugas wants to hold this, of course he wants it. He wants a podium, it's it's already a long time ago Abugas was on podium. I can tell you when it was his first race this season on Spain where he finished second and where Nicky Rizzos finished first so this was a 1-2 for the, for Williams and we never seen two Williams on podium again this season until today so the first race and the last race two Williams on podium if, it, if he can keep this up because he's not done yet he needs to take care of it this now for the final two laps They must have sweaty hands there. for Francois it's a good overtake by him I don't think his connection is really poor today yeah it shall be poor uh, for others but we have seen worse his first race was actually very well no problems at all So a gap of eight and a half seconds between Nicky Rizzles and Poseidon. Nicky Rizzles who's passing Gravis at the moment. Went aside beautifully as he should. He is taking a lot of penalties today. So Nicky Rizzles he will do the job again. Another win. Not after a great start again but we are already used to having a start. He has got some great power to come back in the race and uh, this qualification session is always very very pretty but there it is Nicky Rizzles with another win in his final race 
for Williams, I would say. Because he's moving out to India to another country. He needs to resettle again. Of course, he will do the promotion to the second tier as well. We will sign him in as standby reserve. Burgesort, he holds it on third place, so Williams won three. Etismo, good result before Jacob. Very beautiful qualification session. Good start of the race as well, I think. Uh, we couldn't bust him on many, uh, on many uh, mistakes. The only mistake he probably could have made is... Yeah, making that late pit stop under the virtual safety car. Maybe it costed him one place, max. Or uh, definitely a few seconds. But, uh, still, overall, a good race and he can be proud of it. But again, P5, so he's not beating this, uh, this race record, but uh, he will be happy. And he will bring us some more. He shall be happy with lifting the biggest cup today. With Poseidon and his teammate Burgesort. So, Nicky Rizzles, P1. P2 Poseidon, Burgesoid and another Williams, P3, 4th place by Atismo in the Renault, the 5th place and also the fastest lap scored by Jacob Pasty, holds a 108.885, let me see if he uh, holds a track record now, no it's not a track record, it's very fast, it's a 107.8. With Jordy B, the first driver last season, so not a track record for uh, uh, Jacob. Real Johnny in the Alfa Romeo on P6, Sneaky Tom P7, lucky number 7 for him. Hutchie on 8, Team Mike P9. See you later, scored that final point for Haas F1 team. Race at 24 hours, just missed out on those points. Francois with a late move on race at 24 hours, it wasn't enough as well. Pipe Tech and Graphics were next. Lee Meister, Rubber the Dodo. And at the grid today. Let's make our final press conference for this season. Tomorrow we will still have the, the race in, in CL2. And also one race in Mexico was postponed there. So uh, next week we still have one more race for, uh, for this division as well. But for now... Uh, it's the last press conference for the third year because they are done racing for a few weeks and they are, they are done racing in competition at this 2020 game as well. So they can say goodbye to it. Right, we will have a small window to talk in. Let's wait for our viewers. Oh, sorry, for, for our podium winners to join the session. Nikki, congratulations, mate. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> Well, that uh, it was uh, not a great start, as we are used by now, that you don't have those great starts, but you are definitely capable of bringing yourself back into a race, rejoin the fight, overtake everybody that you need to overtake and create the gap for the win. I think that must be uh, it's some fun for you to overtake it like that, or that's that's a different thing when you're leading leading the race at the start and then you know you don't see anybody in front of you don't have anything to do, to do but just drive this is a different thing i guess 
Well, yeah, uh, to be honest, Dylan, I'd rip your arm off if you offered me a good start. But um, as we all know, that isn't going to happen. I need to I need to start the race, lose three or four positions. Luckily, today it was just a two. Poseidon put a really, really good tight uh, overtake on me on turn four. And then I was just following lap after lap. I was starting to think, am I going to need to do some sort of undercut, some sort of tactical warfare battle? But in the end, I managed to... Managed to just sort of churn out the laps and get there. Bit of a bit of a uh, love tap on Poseidon for the overtake. Hope that hope you didn't mind that Poseidon. And um, but yeah, overall <laughs> good race. Really, really happy with it. Yeah, we yeah. did see the the lovely kiss. <laughs> Sooner or later, he would overtake me. Yeah, he was he, he was he was very fast indeed. And I was like, yeah, maybe he could give the position back to him. It wasn't the cleanest overtake, but he will drive. He will. He, he will drive away and maybe he even have in his mind is I will drive away more than five seconds so if I will get something then it's good you know no, I'm just kidding now Nicky no 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 worries <laughs> Jeez, <mate. laughs> but um yeah I told the viewers that only last season you only had one pole position and this season you hold eight pole positions I think uh, there's something changed there what's the difference um, I don't really know. I suppose last season I d it was the first time on, a, on an F1 game, first time with a steering wheel. Um, I was pretty green, um, just getting getting used to everything. And this season, a bit more practice, a bit more used to it, really enjoying it. And I suppose with the more points you get, the more practice you do, the more enjo enjoyment you have. And it just all sort of clicked into gear. And I, I've been absolutely loving it. Really, really, really enjoyed Celerity Season 2. And... Um, it, I mean, it would have been nice to race against TO today, but I'm not going to argue that he's had the night off because it means uh, a podium place for me, Poseidon and uh, Bradders, Bergersord. Well, I uh, did have some confirmation from TO. He did watch the, watch the race. I don't uh, know if he watched the entire race, but he definitely uh, was there to, to cheer for you guys. So that's positive. And indeed, I missed him as well. But um, yeah, it was... Uh, a job for you guys today and I think you you nailed it again definitely some uh, some credits for you again for winning two races in a row now not the championship but definitely the wall of champions and uh, we will see how it uh, will work out when you immigrate to another country and we hope to see you back on track in the second division of course racing against me so I uh, I'm waiting for you Nikki yeah, appreciate it, Dylan. Hopefully, I'll I'll come back and um, and and beat you. To be honest, <laughs> maybe, you will, maybe you will. Maybe you will. Well, to our uh, second podium winner today, it's Poseidon. How are you, mate? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> are you happy with the race? I think it was an enjoyable race. The fights between you and Nikki, of course, with that laugh kiss, and we all know it means laugh and not not hate. So. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it, and I hope you did as well. Tell me about it. Yeah, I was. Um, I saw in the start, Nicky, as always, he <laughs> doesn't get the good start. So I tried to overtake him in the first corner. Uh, I just let him uh, more space. I thought I go for the straight, and yeah, in that corner, I yeah, it was close. It's okay. Uh, we tu I touched a little bit, so I, uh, my front uh, wing, the right, in the first lap, was a little bit uh, damaged. Then I did stru struggle a little bit. I, s I could see I losing uh, power on the straight, and then I thought I will stay in P2 and try just to have Nicky back behind me because if he overtakes me, he will definitely overtake uh, who was P1. I don't remember. He would overtake him, so the only chance to have him behind me was uh, having the DRS from my from the guy in front of me, and then I lost it in the corner uh, in the, after the pit after the pit stop. I touched a little bit the wall, and then that was it. The end plate was missing, I think. So All right. That's why I struggled a little bit, and on the end, my tires was already on 50 uh, 75 percent. So Atismo was very close at the end. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Was, also, uh, uh, it was very good race. It was good. Uh, yeah. Better than the, my last races. Yeah, I think I think it happened uh, to st as you were speaking about uh, a guy in front of you. I think that was Jacob Pasty who had a very good launch at the start and uh, yes, some some solid laps by him. And at a moment I was thinking like maybe 
he holds you guys a bit down because there was a difference you could see it you could see the difference between him and you guys you already learned how to how to manage the ERS in in the system and you would see him making those mistakes that everybody does and everybody did in this league and at that point I also told the viewers this is the difference between drivers who already outlearned this division and between him who has got some serious talent because I think he uh, he made it fun for you for, for you both actually yeah it was uh, nice racing he, yeah, he didn't try to hold me back uh, after Nicky loses, lose, lost, uh, lost a, few, a few minutes I don't know Nicky what happened do you slide alone or Sorry, so exciting. I only can barely hear you. Are we talking? Uh, I got a little bit wobbly on the last turn. That one. Yeah, where you lo lost it. Yeah, I, I uh. think I would just started daydreaming a little bit. I knew you were ahead. I, I think I was looking at the leaderboard. I think I tapped <laughs> um, overtake a bit too early, and then all of a sudden I, I was almost spinning off onto the grass. So um, I, I was very, very happy to save it and only lose one place there rather than race over. Yeah. Uh, that's something I just missed, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, he lost and then I thought now I can overtake him because I could overtake him, I just don't uh, push my ERS more. So exactly. Just to, keep, oh, nice. just to keep Nicky behind me because I could defend him. <laughs> he tried a few uh, <laughs> moments to overtake, but I think I closed the door nice. Yeah, definitely. Did a uh, little bit difficult, but yeah, in the end, uh, it was a very good race. And yeah, I would love uh, to see him also in uh, the tier 2 competition next that, season. Let's see. Final question for you. Will you uh, miss racing now, upcoming weeks, as we all need to wait now for a new game? Launches at the 13th of July. So this is still a month, mate. Are you going to miss it, this competition races? Yes, yes. But uh, I'm uh, very exciting for the new game. For the new chance and yeah, for the new season. And I also want to, uh, yeah, I wanted uh, with to stay in one podium with my teammate. I think uh, this will next season not gonna happen because he probably will stay in uh, tier three. But it's okay. I think uh, we will train a lot with the new game. Of course. And also all the tier three, yes. Um, compare it with the first season I drive, the four or five races I did, uh, it's much much better, everyone is getting faster and yeah it's making uh, more fun, I hope for them too, <laughs> even if we drive away but uh, if we going uh, after pit stop and then we are behind them they don't make it uh, easy for us so I think uh, I will also miss them. <laughs> They will miss you too, mate, but... It was a good season. Still, yeah. we are in the same community and uh, we race as one in the end, so no worries about it. And uh, Now you have new friends to race with, mate. You can race against me. You can drive me off track now <laughs> and uh, do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for it. <laughs> hey, back to the... Of let's go to uh, to Burgersort. Is he in the, in the press conference as well? Absolutely, I would not Absolutely. miss it for the world. It's also our comment commentator for the first year. I uh, I remember you, mate. But uh, I the told our voice. viewers, your first race at Spain was a podium. It was a 1-2 for Williams at that point. And today, at the last race of the season, you scored a 1-3 for Williams. What happens in between? I just fell asleep for a little <laughs> while, that's all. Uh, no, I just I lost my concentration. Um, I was hoping for a really good season. I really wish that I could have backed up Nicky this season for the constructors. Um, but I just I didn't practice enough. I hold my hands up. It's my fault, Nick. Nick's been very angry at me all year long, all season We're not long. But, at um, the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I spent the last couple of you know what I spent the last two weeks off because I couldn't race. I think I've I've gone away practiced a little bit more offline and um, yeah really happy to end the season this way really happy yeah definitely you uh, earned that second place in constructor championship it's a great effort and I think it's on 321 points and Ferrari on 337 points Ooh. so that's only oh, wow. six, 16 points in between of you two no and points for Ferrari today 
But what did you I like to ask, Nikki? <laughs> um, so that was three three races Williams missed. So that's 75 extra points we would oh. have obviously got. So, um, <laughs> you know, uh, put the, we pencil us in for the title in, in a couple seasons time, perhaps. <laughs> Absolutely. But how went, uh, how went your race, uh, Brad? Because at one point I saw uh, a wheel-to-wheel -wheel action don't know the corner's name but it is that corner after Arton Senna corner to the left but uh, to two lefties and then you touch that inside curb and I was like no there he goes <laughs> and you oh. so, so, somehow you didn't get any damage and then uh, quite a 10 laps later you were on, on podium that's uh, really really brilliant mate Dylan honestly I thought I was gonna cry at that moment if anybody knows where that is so after the Senna S is second DRS straight you take a left turn there, I think it's turn four. Yes. I hit that inside curb too hard and just snap of oversteer. Went into the wall, but luckily my front wing, instead of breaking off, it just kissed the wall, just gave it a little love tap, and I carried on. Um, I lost a place to a Tismo, so I thought, ah oh, man, that's that's it, the podium's gone. Um, I lost a place, but it's okay, I've still got a front wing, just carry on, get points, and um, I had really good pace here. I really like this track. This is probably my favorite track. So I just kept my head down. I kept going, stuck with the tire strategy. I kept hunting down a Tismo who raced so well, by the way, he was so tough to race against. And um, after that, I just, yeah, did a good recovery drive. Really enjoyed it. I wanted that podium. Yeah, you are back on podium and I really missed you because uh, I already forgot that you were on it. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I agree, first I race. agree. D dur during the race, Hutchie said to me that was my first podium and I said, no, no, it wasn't. No, there was one other, but everybody forgot. Don't worry, I yeah, forgot. Well, last season you also got uh, a few podiums, if I can remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got, I, I got um, maybe three, maybe one more, maybe three, I think, last season. So it's, yeah, it's it's... It's nice. I had a bad season this season. I need more practice, um, but it was nice to end it this way, definitely. Never a win, a win yet, right? Never a win. Never a win. I'm going to keep on practicing. Uh, today was my best ever qualifying result, P3. So I'm, I'm you know, that's progress. I that's think progress, I'm going yes. to... Um, I'm going to invest. I've got a, I've got a deal in progress to get a racing wheel finally and get away from the pad. I've arranged a, uh, I've arranged a deal with Hutchie to get myself a wheel quite soon for the next game. So I'm going to put in a lot of practice, and I, I really want that win next season. Really want it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, it also uh, took Hutchie uh, a while to get used to the steering wheel, but he, he's back. I think not. Maybe not this race, but uh, lately uh, we definitely seen him also on podium again. So that's something you can keep in mind for next season. Because uh, yeah, now I think you promised us now to be on the on the on the win uh, next season. So I'm gonna hold on to it now, and I uh, at one day I will uh, shout out for you to be the winner. Definitely. I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait for that. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the season this season. It's been great. I've really enjoyed it. I hope the other tier three guys have as well. Definitely. And from a from a personal point, Brad, you've been an absolutely fantastic teammate. Couldn't have asked, literally could not have asked for a better teammate. Thank you very much. Likewise, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, deep gap that. Deep gap that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was it was lovely to have you guys. Uh, yeah, at my row, you know, and uh, I offered the contract to uh, Burgesort maybe a bit too early because he uh, was second driver there, but I want him as first driver at for Williams. But uh, yeah, he's still uh, figuring out uh, what he's going to do next season, and I, I wish him all the luck. But uh, definitely, we will see how this goes after the transfer market and in the new game. But for our viewers, this is enough talking for tonight. For our podium winners, I want to wish you a good night as well and enjoy this podium. Definitely enjoy it and uh, yeah, post it on uh, on your wall uh, above your bed. I don't care, just enjoy it, you know. And uh, our viewers, thank you for watching. It wasn't the way it should. It's not on the original channel because uh, Adam is still still stealing our uh, <laughs> twitch channel for tonight <laughs> i was yelling at him where are you but he's he's not there with <laughs> us so <laughs> no problem i, I it, it was my fault i forgot to tell him to look out <laughs> it's it's newish stuff of course if you do the Bro comment. brother adam race ban <laughs> <laughs> now it's a race ban for me for not telling uh, how, how to look out <laughs> so uh, maybe I can't race tomorrow. No, I'm kidding, guys. Thank you for watching. This was the third year, uh, the second season. It was a beautiful season again. A lot of spirit can be found in this division. Yeah, if you want to join it, just ask us. Do the driver's test and maybe you will race against these gentlemen next season. 
but for now thank you for watching and have a blissful evening and we will see you tomorrow for the second tier in action that's the second last race they need to do mexico again uh, next week on 18 of june because that race was postponed so two more races this season and then it's really done at this game then we only have events but that's not for your eyes thank you for watching again and have a great night ciao ciao cheers Dylan. cheers cheers, cheers.